Mark. Grab the grab the grab go go grab the viewer later. Just grab the mark. Oh, first time I I don't know I tried to adjust for wind. The first. There is no wind. I know the first one. We have seen how hard the Care for Wild team work to feed, love and care for all the animals taking refuge here in the sanctuary. They have all learned from their time spent here, discovered new behaviours, formed bonds and everlasting friendships. They work hard to keep the animals as comfortable as they can, figure out the metric system, standard size uh, nuts, but metric size wrenches. Delicious and nutritious. And have a little fun while getting their hands dirty. Oh yeah. It's got nothing on me. What am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> I'm removing the stumps so when the rhinos come in they're not gonna stand on them and injure themselves. Okay. So I don't want anything injuring my animals. So I'm gonna take the bath. White rhinos can weigh anywhere between 1.8 to 2.7 tons. They have very thick skin that is surprisingly sensitive to both insect bites and the sun, and extremely poor eyesight. So Sam wages war on the developing rhino enclosure, making sure they can't trip up and fall over anything. Volunteers put their back into lugging around gum poles from one end of the enclosure to the other to build a fence while Sam takes a break from tree stump removal to investigate some of nature's smaller creatures. The one's killing his friend or carrying his injured friends. I'm not quite sure. With everyone helping out, the rhinos will not have long to wait to see their new enclosure. Even four-month-old little baboon Shmi is on board and is not deterred from taking a nap despite all the building commotion. With Barrett and Helen securing the gum poles, the rest give the place a good once over with some animal friendly paint, putting their heart and soul into making sure the job is well done. The rhinos are not the only ones getting an upgrade in accommodation at the sanctuary. There are some rather intelligent and very mischievous cats that are taking in their new home one it's step at a time. Five-month-old Safira and Koei are being relocated to their own private quarters. They are able to climb and swim, though they rarely do so, except maybe these two. These servals will not say no to a warm nest box on the cooler winter nights while they are still in captivity. Except the original lodger of this enclosure is not too keen on these two servals and retreats back into his box. The Lofold region of South Africa can get extremely hot during the humid summer months. With the sanctuary being so big, in this kind of heat, a free bucky ride is appreciated. Hot and bothered, but still smiling after a long day of maintenance and moving servals, everyone makes their way up the bumpy, winding road up to the main house. On such a beautiful, sunny day at Care for Wild, there is only one thing left to do splash in the cool water, catching a tan, having a chat.
Every day brings its own rewards. Even tiny Shmi wants in on the fun and games and gets involved. As Shmi sees his surrogate mother drowning, he runs and jumps into the water to save her, only to find out that it is he who needs saving, and he hangs on tight to his surrogate mother. It is during these small, finer moments in life that the best relationships are formed. These volunteers get thrown together and make this special place their home. They become family, caring for each other and the wild. After a long, fun swim in the pool, this day holds one more surprise. Look at this face. Go with it. Even after a medical emergency which resulted in surgery, 18-year-old Kate is welcomed back home at the sanctuary with open arms. <laughs> Every person here falls under Petronelle's protection. Together, as a family. I was left in my whole garden. <laughs> <laughs> they went to a good cause, I'm Wait, sure. I'm so glad you're back. Thank you, thank you. You worried the hell out of us. You, you were so that, good, huh? though. Thank you. You really were like, straight to hospital. <laughs> Come on, girl. Yeah. And let's get you sorted, huh? Yeah, thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Martin also said that I must say good luck and he's very glad you're out. Okay. And now you can find mom and say, let's go, huh? Yeah, let's go. Yeah. We waited, all waited for you to go and do the Rhino thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm back now. <laughs> Next time on Care for Wild.